guys, welcome back to Rage and Apathy. This is Sue, and thank you so much again for stopping by. Uh, and I am going to show you how to put some custom loops on your iPhone. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm obviously going into iTunes here, and I'm going to wait for my trusty iPhone to pop on up here. It should just be a minute. Actually, it should be less than a minute. There it goes. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here into the Apps tab. And when that is loaded, I'm going to go down to the bottom where it says File Sharing. I'm going to hit GarageBand. Now, I've already put one in here as an experiment, but what I did was I came down to the bottom. I don't know if you can quite see that. There's an Add button there. And up pops all of these lovely loops from my buddy Chris over at BetaMonkeyMusic.com. Chris is an awesome drummer and does even better drum loops. And I just picked one as an experiment. This is a, a double bass groove. So I clicked on open. I'm going to cancel it out now because it's already in there. And then I did actually just go down to the bottom and sync it. So in just a second, I'm going to come back and show you what it looks like on the iPhone. Okay guys, so here we are back on the iPhone side and I'm going to pop open my GarageBand and as GarageBand comes alive here, it's telling you that it's loading a song that I've worked on. Now you see the little, right up here in the corner I have a 1 next to my loop, so if I hit that it gives me the loop that I just imported. So that's going to be very, very important for uh, for me because I haven't figured out how to record a full drum set on an iPhone yet, uh, but I wouldn't put it past me to try. So it's really quick, it's really easy. Uh, more guitar tomorrow. Thanks so much for stopping by here at RageAndApathy.com. Again, my name is Sue, and I will catch you on the flip side. Mm -hmm.